Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Talk Time with Pastor Krista. So today, on this beautiful Tuesday during the season of Easter, we are going to share one of my favorite Easter stories. Now, this is a story that I shared in Sunday school. So if you came to Sunday school on Sunday, this will be a review for you. But if you did not, this will be a brand new story. So we know that Jesus had friends, and his friends were called his disciples. And after Jesus' death, his disciples stuck together for a lot of reasons. One of them is because when one of our friend dies, it, one of our friends dies, it brings us comfort to be with all of our other friends who knew that person. That's part of healing and grieving is going through that process together. And so Jesus' friends really stuck together after Jesus died. And one of the places they gathered was called the upper room. And it was kind of a secret room over a house. And the reason they gathered there was because it was a kind of secret room. Because the same people who wanted to find Jesus to kill Jesus also after Jesus died were interested in finding out where his disciples or his friends were. And so they gathered in this place that was safe for them. And while they were there one night, they were all there except for one person, Thomas. Thomas was somewhere else. We don't know where. Thomas was late to the party. So all of his friends, all of Jesus' friends were in this upper room and Jesus appears to them and they are amazed. And the reason they're amazed is because Jesus is fulfilling a promise. Jesus is fulfilling a prophecy because Jesus said, after I die, I will come back to be with you so that you know the place where I am going. So Jesus appears to his disciples and they're absolutely amazed. Then all of a sudden, Thomas walks in the upper room and all of his friends are like, Thomas, you'd never believe what happened. Look, Jesus is with us just like he said he would be. And Thomas looks at him and says, yeah, I'm not so sure I believe this. And Jesus said, no, it's, it's me. And Thomas said, I want proof. You show me the holes in your hands where the nails were. And you show me that cut in your side where they hit you with that spear. And Jesus said, all right, if it takes proof, it takes proof. So he held up his hands and he showed him his side. And Thomas said, wow, you really are Jesus. Hmm. So Jesus said something really important after that. Jesus looked at everyone and Jesus said to them, Thomas believes it's me because he's seen me, but blessed are you who believe and haven't seen. And you know what, guys? That's us because Jesus isn't in front of us to prove he's Jesus by showing us his hands and his side. We have to have faith and believe that it's Jesus, that Jesus exists, that Jesus existed, and Jesus is all around us like he promised. So I have this little box here, and this is the example I used. Now, I can't see you, but you can see me. So I'm going to tell you what's in this box, and then I want you to let me know. Do you have faith in what I'm saying or not? So I'm going to tell you, may or may not be true, that in this box is the most beautiful rock you've ever seen. It's purple and it's shiny and it's a little glimmery and it's kind of silvery and it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, some of you out there are saying, oh, Pastor Krista, she's got a rock in that box and it's really pretty. And others of you are saying, I don't know if I have faith in what she's saying. So I'm gonna open the box and I'm gonna show you what's in this box. Are you ready? Look at that rock. Can you see that beautiful rock? So what is in that box is a rock just like I said was there. I'm going to put that here because it's so pretty. We're going to look at it for the rest of talk time. So those of you who thought that I was telling the truth, you had faith in what I was saying without even seeing that rock. But then there are those of you who needed to see the rock in order to have faith in what I was saying. And that kind of follows the lesson that Jesus was trying to teach us. It doesn't it. That if we're going to be Christian, we've got to have faith in what we cannot see. Because we can't see God. We can't see Jesus. But we have to have that faith that God and Jesus are all around us, above us, 
under us and within all of us. So that, my friends, is our lesson for today. And that was a pretty good lesson. I love that story about Thomas. And that's why if you hear the phrase doubting Thomas, that's where it came from. If somebody says, you're a doubting Thomas, meaning you don't have a lot of faith in this, then that's what that means. That's taken from the disciple Thomas. So kind of a cool, fun fact, huh? So we're going to sing our song today. We're going to sing, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. And you can't see my feet, but I hope you can hear them when it's time to stomp them. So here we go. You ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen, amen. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen, amen. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen, amen. If you're really happy and you want to know it, do all three. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Amen. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do all three. Amen. Amen. You have a wonderful day. We'll see you Thursday. So let's do our benediction. Here we go. My heart loves your heart because Jesus first loved us. You all have a wonderful day. And we will see you Thursday. Enjoy this beautiful weather. Get outside, breathe some fresh air, and play a little today. All right, guys. Bye.